Hello everyone. Good morning. Good afternoon to everyone who is watching this presentation from different parts of the world. Today our topic is to explain the societal impact of the internet and how to use it ethically and responsibly. This is my team, Goats on the Boat, and the team members are Prami, Xiang, Aben, Dixon, Jinzo, and me, Tushar. Societal impact of the internet. In some cases, it has more impact than basic needs. Well, even though it's surprising, it is actually true. With the rise of the web in later decades, its effect on society has been transformative at different levels, counting in communication, getting into the information and social interaction, while early adopters saw conceivable outcomes in utilizing the wave as a vehicle through which the numerous challenges confronting the world may be tended to, more as of late questions have emerged around how wave innovation can be utilized to spread untrue and deceiving data and to radicalize and enroll potential fear-based oppressors. There are two concerns as to whether the wave serves to diminish or worsen social divisions and whether it contributes to the weakening of social standards or alternately serves as a channel to propagate them. Since we are talking about society and internet, let's have a sneak peek on some data or statistics as we can see. Adults in US who use the internet in 2021. We can see that 18 to 20 per, in 9 years old uh, users uh, has 99% of them who use internet while 98% for 32 49 years age group 96% for 15 to 64 years age group and 75% for 65 age or above the statistic shows the share of internet users uh, we can see that they use all over the age and also we can see that it is not only the teenagers or the mid-age group also there are a good number of people who use internet who is well above 60 or 50. Now let's see some impacts that lead us to healthy and positive lifestyle which is impacted by obviously internet. Education Internet can improve the quality of education in many ways. It opens doorways to a wealth of information, knowledge, and educational resources, increasing opportunities for learning in and beyond the classroom. Teachers use online materials to prepare lessons and students to extend their range of learning. Interacting teaching methods supported by the internet enable teachers to give more attention to individual students who needs and support shared learning. Personal bond. Well, when we talk about internet, there are some apps or social platform comes in our mind. Social media is an important venue for interaction and conversation among today's youth. Fully 76% of all teens use social media. Facebook is the dominant platform with 71% of all teens using it. Instagram and Snapchat also have become increasingly important with 52% of teens using Instagram and 41% using Snapchat. One third of American teens use Twitter and another third use Google Plus. Fewer teens use Vine, Tumblr or any other platform if we can name a batch. Entertainment The internet has played a significant role in entertainment as well. It is one of the most important means of uh, entertainment media right now. It has changed the way we view um, the entertainment world and consume and also the way in which it's received. Now we are able to watch things live and also watch replays of entertainment thanks to the provision of the internet. 
even in this lockdown situation, we are not that bored just because we have active internet connection. Well, let's move on to the information and news. The internet is a global network of billions of computers and other electronic devices. With the internet, it's possible to access almost any information, communicate with anyone else in the world, and do much more. In simple word, it is just a giant hub of information, the biggest library, we can say. Redefined business, advancement in communication and information technology has further strengthened the role of the internet in business. The internet is widely used in organizations for marketing and promotion of products and services. The internet is used to deliver customer support, share information and provide training to employees and much more. Communication Email, social networking and instant messaging all affect daily communication. The internet has changed the style, speed and quality of interpersonal communication. While the internet is an excellent tool for productivity and keeping in touch, it hinders proper communication in certain situations. Well, now since we have seen some positive impact, let's move into the dark side of the use of internet in our social life. Cyberbullying. Cyberbullying is a multi-faced issue. Well. Our team goes on the boat really takes serious note on cyberbullying as it is a rising issue. However, the inter intention of this activity is one and the same, to hurt people and bring them harm. Cyberbullying is not a light matter, it needs to be taken seriously as it does have a lot of dangerous effects on the victim. Moreover, it disturbs the peace of mind of a person. Many people are known to experience depression after they are cyberbullied. In addition, they indulge in self-harm. All the derogatory comments made about them makes them feel inferior. Sexual harassment. Although it is a part of cyberbullying, but it is an important one. So we are we are talking about it separately. Online sexual harassment is defined as unwanted sexual conduct on any digital platform. It includes a wide range of behaviors that use technology to share digital content such as images, videos, posts, messages, pages, etc. on a variety of pub different platforms, private or public. Now let's talk about security on web. In general, Web security refers to the protective measures and protocols that organizations adopt to protect the organization from cyber criminals and threats that use the web channel. Web security is critical to business continuity and to protecting data users and companies from risk. Well, banking, information, and credential set is also an important and uh, uh, a major victim from the internet. Well, mobile phone and laptop users are warned over the risky practice of checking bank balances or entering any personal details while using public Wi-Fi because hackers could steal their details. During the busy Christmas spending season, more people than usual are expected to log, log on to find out how much money is in their accounts while out shopping, and free Wi-Fi is more readily available than over, ever before with restaurants, airport, coffee shops, hotels, and high street stores all offering the service to customers. But data sent to your bank and other companies while using these networks can easily be intercepted by criminals to forge your identity or raid the money from your account. Internet Addiction in the past few years, internet addiction and internet gaming disorder have become very frequent, leading to many personality and psychiatric disorder, including low self-esteem, impulsivity, poor sleep quality, mood disorder, and suicide. 
Well, now let's talk about information overload and misleading information. Postmodern society witnessed enormous changes in technology and innovation. As a result, the quick access to relevant information became a nightmare. The digital media contents became abundant and it turned impossible to retrieve useful information when needed. News media also faced such an information overflow. Accurate news became hardly accessible. Okay, since we have seen some pros and cons about uh, the internet uh, on our daily lifestyle, now let's move on to the ethical part, like how we can use this knowledge to be better on internet or like how we can help other people to learn it. Well, knowledge of internet security and different violations can help us to use it ethically. Gone are the early days of cyber threats when infecting someone's computer with a virus basically meant giving them a floppy disk. The internet has made it very easy for people to install malware and transmit viruses. Today, cyber criminals use automated tools to attack millions of devices at once. Now, we can. This is a tweet from an American broadcaster, Germany can't treat others the way you want to be treated. It means we should behave or we should do the activity to others the way we want to be treated. Like, this is just a metaphor used for a deeper understanding how we should use internet ethically. Now, the last and most important part, government and authorities should be stepping up. Well, the government can play a role by helping to educate the public by protecting its own infrastructure and by assuring that companies disclose any potential privacy or security threats and adhere to their stated policies. There are some laws already out uh, such as um, Children's Online Privacy Protection Act, uh, the Anti-Cyber Squatting Consumer Protection Act. Uh, spam act and much more well we used so many resources for this beautiful presentation where we tried to convince you the good and the bad side of the internet also we wanted to take you to the journey where it impact in our daily life no matter which way it is thank you so much for listening internet is one of the most important invention in our life and it made our life easier it depends on us if we can take the good out of it and remove the dark side from our life if you have any question feel free to ask thank you